The next thing that we undertake is a study of the individual opponents in order to develop our match plan for block and defense. And this is perhaps the most important slide in the whole, uh, the whole session. So um, after this, you can maybe don't need to know anymore, but uh, these, this is really important. And we are looking for areas that are not covered by our basic tactics, firstly. So if our basic tactics are perfect, we don't need to do any scouting. And the areas that we need to pay attention or the, what we need to pay attention to are areas that are, or things that are recognizable, things that are predictable, and things that are actionable. And that is really the key to any form of scouting and what you need to pay attention to, uh, whatever the, the team is, and it will vary from team to team, of course. So these are things that the players, not the coach, the players can see easily from their positions on the court. They're things that they need that have a predictable outcome. If player X does such and such, then the outcome will be an attack in position four, for example. And they need to be something that we can do something about with our team. So one of the mistakes that coaches can make is that they will be able to, with the video and fast forward and freeze frame, see a lot of things. They'll be able to find some little thing when the left finger is pointed uh, in that direction. He 100% of the time, Spike X hits cross court. Um, and that is predictable. We can actionable, we can block cross court, for example, but it's not something that uh, blockers can see or indeed should be looking for in the course of a match. So our basic principles for starting our preparation, for starting our scouting are looking for things that are recognizable, predictable and actionable. 